Welcome here to our Saturday Daily Devotion at Zion Lutheran Church. Today we're going to be looking at our hymn of the day for tomorrow that we will be singing in church. Um, and we're going to be using the noon version of our daily prayer on page 296 of the Lutheran Service Book. So let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Listen to my prayer, O God. Do not ignore my plea. Hear me and answer me. Evening, morning, and noon, I cry out in distress, and he hears my voice. Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So our hymn for this week um, our hymn of the day is hymn 688 in the Lutheran service book. Come follow me, the Savior spake. So let me sing just this first verse of the hymn. Just, Come follow me, the Savior spake, all in my way abiding. Deny yourself, the world forsake. Obey my call and guiding. Obey the cross, whatever be time. Take my, take my example for your guide. Sorry for getting tripped up a little bit there on um, on that last part of the verse. Um, so this hymn here that we have is um, is a fairly old hymn. It was written in the 1600s, the mid 1600s, by a man named Johann Scheffler. Um, he's also sometimes called Angelus Cilicius. And he's, he was a young man, um, started writing poetry in his teens, and um, so it's natural that he started writing hymns as well, because that's what a lot of these hymns are, is just poetry and verse put to music. So um, he writes this, and then in 1668, it's published in, um, in a basically a hymn book by him. Um, and the verses that, um, that we have in our hymnal, um, there's five verses in our hymnal, and one, two, three, and five are all from him, and the fourth is from um, an anonymous author, so we don't know who wrote that verse, but it's one that, um, that fits very well with this. Now, um, this was translated and found its way into, um, into a hymnal in 1889, into English, and so it's been in the English-speaking um, Lutheran world for quite a while now. So um, in these these verses here, that first verse, "Come follow me," the Savior spake, um, directly refers to Matthew chapter 16, verse 24, where Jesus encourages um, disciples to follow Him, to deny themselves, to take up their cross, and that sort of thing. Um, the uh, stanzas two through four kind of refer um, really to um, to Jesus now speaking about what that looks like and what that entails, um, and you can see that in in our hymnals, and you'll see this in the bulletin tomorrow how there's quotation marks there. So in these um, these verses, it's Jesus speaking to us as we sing this, and then in verse five, it goes back to um, to us. Um, let us follow Christ our Lord, another encouragement of following Christ. And it's paired with this day because in our gospel reading, um, we hear of Jesus calling, calling some of his disciples to be fishers of men, to come follow him. They heed that call. In the Old Testament reading, we hear Elijah um, being charged by God to appoint Elisha as the prophet after him. And we see what this life of discipleship looks like in our epistle reading from 1 Peter. And so um, this hymn kind of encap encapsulates um, all of those scripture readings and what we're going to be hearing again tomorrow. So 
Um, again, a very a wonderful hymn um, where, again, that's been sung for 400 years. The tune is even a little bit older than that. So um, one that is um, very well known and beloved, um, at least in Lutheran circles, for a long, long time. So let's, um, let's close in with our prayers. So we're back on page 296, and we begin with the Kyrie. O Lord, have mercy upon us. O Christ, have mercy upon us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. See you tomorrow.